big welcome to FNSS, to Army Recognition. Uh, today, uh, behind me, you can see one of the newest additions to our PASS family of wheeled vehicles. This is the PASS Special Operations uh, Vehicle, uh, otherwise known as PASS 4. Uh, this vehicle has been designed with Special Forces um, operations in mind. Uh, so it pulls on the mobility and the protection of previous PASS variants in the family but it offers a, a lot higher level of mobility and a lot higher level of protection uh, for the troops that are using this vehicle. It's designed with operations in urban environments in mind and it's also designed and equipped to allow the users to use this vehicle in day and night operations. As you can see it's equipped with two weapon stations uh, on the roof of the vehicle. Uh, the configuration behind me is a 50 cal machine gun and a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. It has the traditional pass configuration with two crew members at the front of the vehicle and a high level of uh, visibility for those crew members due to the position of uh, them at the front of the vehicle. The vehicle is equipped with a a uh, sophisticated suite of communication systems and sensor suites. Uh, these allow the troops to remain in communication with each other and with their command headquarters and the sensor suites add to the protection systems uh, of the vehicle. The PASS Special Operations vehicle is designed with the survivability of an MRAP vehicle but with the tactical mobility of a wheeled armoured vehicle. It offers a high level of IED, mine and ballistic protection for the crew and the occupants of the vehicle. Its highly rated power pack gives it unrivalled mobility, especially in difficult situations, and its hydropomatic suspension uh, gives it uh, highly desirable ride characteristics. The front and rear wheel steering of the vehicle gives the vehicle a tight turning circle. This is especially important in urban environments. FNSS is proud of its uh, support uh, efforts for uh, the vehicles that it has in service. Uh, the vehicle behind me will be no exception. Uh, despite the low volume, high complex nature of the vehicle, uh, we will be there to support this vehicle's entry into service to ensure that the users are supported both in their training and their operations. 